morning. We got about another 100 miles to go with this. An hour and a half. Picked this up in Ear Falls, Ontario yesterday. I'm down in Carlton, Minnesota right now. We're going to Asante, Minnesota. We'll see what reload we have after that. We don't have too much time right now. We want to get going. We slept across the street. Oh, you can't see from here. at the Carlton Travel Center. It looks like it's closed uh, completely, but the parking lot's still open. We came across here to uh, grab a coffee. Nothing going on at that store over there. Just came across the street to the quick trip. Any of you from Carlton, Minnesota? These quick trips are usually pretty busy places. Am I going here? I think so. You're welcome. Gotten our coffee, gotten our breakfast, even got a sandwich for lunch, which I'm gonna put in the cooler back here. Yeah, yeah. If that stays cool. My protein bar for the morning. Okay. We're ready to rock and roll. So I've started a new series on my channel, like I said I would called the silent trucker ASMR trucking it's the same story of my same day but without me <laughs> I'm gonna keep this vlog going don't worry this is the feature presentation this is the main content of my channel these vlogs will always stay labeled the same they're gonna go into their own playlist yet and be the main main content some extra content I'm adding in there just for the few people who have requested it and who like that kind of thing. It's going to be the story of my day through video and picture with no talking, just silence. Just, well, not silence, but just the sound of the truck, <clears throat> sound of the highway. If I'm out on a walk, the sounds of nature around me, just relaxing. The beautiful sounds of the highway. Maybe we'll call it sounds of the highway. Maybe we'll call it the silent trucker. My first one is up on my channel already, episode one. I labeled it Silent Trucker. <coughs> we'll see if you like it. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch it. You can just watch these. Totally get it. We're going down Asante Lane. You guessed it. This takes us to the, sound, to the town of Asante. That's where we gotta drop this lumber off. About five minutes down the road. We'll get this off my trailer. I don't know what my reload is yet. I thought I heard that it might be a load of shingles going back up to Winnipeg, but I haven't gotten confirmation on any of that. So as soon as I stop here, I'm gonna have to uh, send a message up to the skies, to the load gods, and uh, see if they respond to me. Usually they respond pretty quickly. So before we're even empty, I'm sure I'll have an answer of where I'm headed next. Beautiful day for trucking through the cornfields. Minnesota corn, look at that. Beautiful. shipping and receiving office right over there and see where they want me. Let the world know that I am now on duty not driving. Tagged it as unloading cargo. 
Oh, and I also have to send the message into the load gods to let them know I'm here. They can probably already see on their screens that, that I'm here if they're looking at the screens, but if they're not, this gives them a little ding. Hey, Trucker Josh is unloading. Send him a new load quick. Quick, don't keep him waiting. Let's just send in here, compose, arrived, no, I'm not at the shipper, arrived at destination. That just pops up on their screen there saying, hey, pay attention to Josh. He's doing something. He's doing something. He's going to have an empty trailer real soon. That's not good. We don't like empty trailers. We like loaded trailers. So, as soon as I get my shoes on, oh, okay. My outdoor shoes, that is. There's driving shoes and there's outdoor shoes. And there's socks for in the sleeper. It's the rules. But I guess before I get out of my truck here, I should put on my vest. I wouldn't want to get run over. Safety first, truck change. Safety first. One more thing. Gotta look good. You gotta look good, you gotta smell good. I'm both. Oh, sounds like recess is over. You guys gotta make sure you smell good on the road. It's very important. Deodorant. Okay, I hate to be the one to tell you this. Deodorant, it's a couple of bucks at the store. Antiperspirant. Gotta smell good. Strap roller. It's in here somewhere. Where are you? Should be in here. One second. Just, just sit there for a bit, would you? Just hang tight. Oh, I see. It got pushed all the way to the back. Okay. What happened here? What happened here? Yeah, you try to keep things neat and clean and organized and everything <sighs> just goes to you know where in a handbag. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's Put this in front of it, and we won't be able to see it. There. I'm gonna have to clean up those two-inch straps. I'm gonna be thinking about it all day now. They're not rolled up properly in there. Nope. This is my method of doing it. I bring them all onto one side, the front of the trailer here. Bring my strap roller right up here. I roll them all up here and then they go into my headache rack. This way I'm working at the front of the trailer while they're unloading 
on the trailer there and I stay out of their way. Usually it works out pretty good. And I grab them by the hook. And I pull them through my left hand like this while I'm, what I'm doing is I'm checking for any damages to the strap and also getting any rolls out of it so that it's easier to roll up. That way each time I check the strap before I roll it up so I know if it's good to be used again. Once they're all rolled up, they go in here. Longest ones go on the bottom, medium ones, and some long ones. Short ones are at the top here with all these wires. <laughs> I need to figure out yet, but. Uh. Organized. Organization is key. While I was taking the straps off there, looks like our next load came through. What? Every time I turn the key off, it does that. Okay, we are, oh no, it's not shingles. We are going into Wisconsin. Okay. Going into Mauston, Wisconsin, picking up a load that's going home. Picking up a load of utility trailers. Right on, right on. I'm gonna reply with a big yes. Hey, hiya. I will accept that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this I need to uh, replace yet. I have the original one at the shop. This one's cracked. Where is it? It's at the top here. It's cracked. So it's a little loose. So when it's screwed on here, it goes it rattles like that on the highway. So I just took it down. Uh, there you go. Whatever. Hardcore. Looks like we are 368 kilometers from our pickup. We're gonna pick up tomorrow morning. That's fine because it's the afternoon already. Got uh, drove pretty late last night, so I got a later start today. So this will get my my times back on schedule. We can start early again uh, tomorrow. Let's do some math here for my Merc and buddies. 368 kilometers divided by 1.61 is 229 miles. Just taking about four hours to get there. Yeah, so we'll have a lot of time today to uh, relax and get ready to be up early tomorrow. We'll pick them up then. Looks like it's gonna be two utility trailers. That's what the message says anyways. 23 foot and 27 foot. We'll get them tied down. Oh, and by the way, some news on my, uh, you know, I've been talking about those spam comments pretending to be me. I applied with YouTube, uh, Team YouTube, to be verified on YouTube to get that little check mark beside my channel name, and I got approved. So my channel will now be verified very soon, so you'll know it's me responding to you because it'll have the little checky mark, meaning that it's for sure me. Just like I have on Facebook, that little blue check. So all I really gotta do is I gotta get the blue check on Twitter and Instagram yet. Twitter is not my uh, biggest platform by a long shot. I, I don't like Twitter. I, I think it's a cesspool of just angry mean people not everyone i mean you guys who use it are nice but you know how twitter is it's a it's a cesspool of arguing and i don't like it that it's anonymous because people can say whatever they want with no consequences so people can get really mean on there and get uh, really crazy especially if you get into the political side of twitter and there's no repercussions because no one knows who's tweeting right and it's just a bunch of crazies on there like passing i don't know it's not all bad it's just not my favorite platform but i would like to get verified on twitter too so you guys know that's me and instagram well i don't really use instagram much i just post my thumbnails there just to get more traffic to my channel that's it's the only reason i have all of my social media channels facebook is my main 
social media platform where you'll find me you'll find me the most active there probably why I got verified there first I think we have something like 53,000 followers there on Twitter we have 10,000 Instagram we have 11,000 but here on YouTube we have 116,000 so it'll be nice to get that little check there then then you'll know it's me but I don't know how long it'll take because in the email YouTube creator support sent me said uh, uh, thanks for your patience while we looked into your request we have successfully verified your YouTube channel your channel will remain verified unless you change your channel name, which I won't. If you change your channel's name, the renamed channel won't be verified and you'll need to reapply. In the next few days, you'll see a check mark next to your channel name. Currently, the verified badge doesn't show everywhere, like on mobile devices, but we're working to fix that. Okay, so the check mark won't be everywhere. It should be in the next couple of days. So cool. If you see it first, let me know because I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for the little checky mark. It's been 11 years that I've been waiting for this thing. All right, we're empty this anymore. Sit down there for a bit. Hang that up in a bit. Let's get out of their way here, out of their yard. We'll find a good truck stop. Uh, probably going to stop by Roberts, Wisconsin at the Flying J. Have a shower. Let's see how far away are we from there. Uh, da -da. Doesn't say. Shoot. One second. Flying J Travel Center in Moston. Not in Moston, in Roberts. Oh, a little over an hour. A little over an hour. We'll go there. Stop there, have a shower, a little break. Bada bing, bada boom, clean ourselves up. Get ready to pick up our utility trailers tomorrow. Boom. Let's go. I go for a shower.
now we're dead. One, two, your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower. The pumps here in Roberts, Wisconsin have always been bad. This guy has just parked his truck here. He pulled in here, washed his windows, took about 15 minutes doing that. The whole time I was fueling it, just washing his windows. And then when I was done, I got in and I've been waiting for this guy who went to go walk his dog somewhere. And he's been gone for 20 minutes. And this guy has been inside the whole time. He just went inside and left his truck here. That guy's been here just as long. Oh, he's leaving now though. Good for him. This guy though, not sure where he went, but uh, I can't leave until he leaves. Really, really bugs me. This guy here and this guy here really bugs me when people park in the pumps for a long period of time. I understand you're just running inside to grab a coffee or if there's nobody behind you, nobody behind you, who cares, right? But this is, it's busy here. There's a lineup around the lot. When I got here, there was. So everybody here had to wait in line and now they're just making everybody behind them wait even more than they had to wait. Maybe they think that because they had to wait, everyone else should have to wait even longer too. I don't know, but uh, I would like to get moving here. I've been done pumping here for a while. Can't move till he decides he wants to go. No idea where he went. Like I said, if there's nobody behind you, not a big deal, whatever. At a time like this, it's, uh, you know, Whatever you gotta do inside, if you can't get it done in 10 minutes or less, it should be five minutes or less, but at least 10 minutes or less, I mean, don't even bother. Go find a parking spot, park your truck. Don't park in front of the pumps here. And if there's no parking for you, move it on down the line. There's another truck stop five minutes down the road. Go try that one. There's no room for you here, there's no room for you. There's nothing anybody can do about that. Keep on moving. Here we are. Exit 69, Austin, Wisconsin. 300 meters, take WI-82 Austin and then turn right in 340 meters. I'm gonna spend the night at the quick trip here, just down the street from our pickup. Looks straight to me. My favorite truck stops. I've stopped here many times in the past. Lots of parking. Practically a little mini mall in there for truckers too. Quick trips are really nice places to stop. Just an absolutely gorgeous night out there. A gorgeous Wisconsin night. Man. Perfect temperature. Recently rained, so it smells like rain, but it's not raining. Wonderful. That's where we're gonna end today. Uh, can't do much from here. Just down the road from here is where we're gonna pick up those utility trailers tomorrow. Uh, like I said, there's supposed to be two of them. I don't know, the computer here says that there's three of them, but the load gods themselves say there's two of them. One's 20 feet, one's 27 feet. So that, uh, unless if there's an itty bitty one, I mean, I'm only gonna be able to fit the two. And that'd be nice, that's about 47 feet of trailer space, a 53 foot trailer, that would give me enough space between them. Cause sometimes they, they, with these utility trailers, sometimes they load them up as much as they can, like three that just barely fit on the trailer. And they have to, they have to line them up and load them so close to each other, just so that they'll fit, right? And these utility trailers are very light. They get tossed around in the wind and by the bumps on the road. So you have to have these things tied down tight. They cannot move a quarter of an inch, nothing. They cannot budge. Sometimes it's pretty hard because they, they, don't, they don't build them with tie down like hooks or anything, right? You gotta be a little creative sometimes. I've never damaged one, but I, I've seen them get damaged in the past before and uh, on other trailers this one time a different company than ours this one time i was picking these trailers up and uh, the guy who different company like i said 
was loading in front of me. And I was watching him tie down, watching him tie down. I'm like, oh wow, he's got a ways to go yet. So I was getting comfortable waiting because I got to wait for him to finish before I get loaded. And then all of a sudden, I see him hop in his truck and take off. I'm like, dude, you're going to tie those things down a little better? You could see them swaying back and forth like he's pulling forward and the trailers were moving like more than a couple of inches just him leaving the yard and i watched him just turn onto the road and just drive off onto the highway and off he was off into the sunset trailers with more than a couple of inches of play secure your loads people this was a long time ago already i was driving the volvo then so it's been a while since i hauled one of these loads but you know me, I, I over-secure it. I literally have people laughing at me sometimes because they think I'm crazy for putting so much securement on your load. Oh, oh you're a super trucker. <laughs> you laugh at me all you want. Call me all the names you want. I've never had anything go flying off my trailer. I'm not going to. I, I, I'm not going to Not going to have anything fly off my trailer. And I'm going to try my best to make sure that I am never that guy. I don't want to end up on someone else's YouTube channel. Oh, look what this crazy guy did. Oh, look at this. You know, all of a sudden you'll have uh, the uh, the Asian Mai show with all the trucking news. All of a sudden I'll show up on his channel. Look what Trucker Josh did. I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm under more scrutiny because I have a lot of people watching me every day. A lot of people. And these uh, videos end up on my boss's desk every day. He's watching. Hey, boss. And my my dispatchers and all my, my friends, my family, a lot of people. And who knows who else, the, who else watches these videos. I mean, I've had emails from some pretty crazy places. Like, I won't say it, but I mean, like, there's some powerful people out there that for some reason watch my videos or have in the past they reached out to me and said hey I like what you're doing good job so I feel like I'm under a little more scrutiny so I, I take that extra step to make sure I'm setting a good example at least I'm trying to anyways it's time to go I gotta film the comment review for yesterday's video I hope you tune into that there's a whole bunch of new content on my channel so let's I'm trying to keep it all organized if you want to go into my playlist section I'm getting that all organized there as well within the next couple of weeks that'll all be finished it'll be easy to follow whichever series you want to. If you don't like the silent trucker stuff, no problem, I get it. Some people do. I'm making it for them. You can, this this stuff with me talking here, yapping your ear off, this will this will keep coming. Don't worry, this isn't going to change. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. I got some more stuff to talk about.